Hello tubers! Sorry for the loud noise, but we are at SM Tracy at the SMDC condo complex right opposite the mall here in Tracy Mar Terrace, Cavite, Philippines. So wherever you are, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thank you for watching Cooper's Tie Adventures. So welcome back. We are outside unit number 201 and this is one of the empty one bed slash studio condominiums that you get here at SMDC, which is right opposite SM Tracy Mar Terrace. And this is how it looks. So these come completely empty. You furnish them yourself. And if I just come out the window here, you see there this shelf. Well, that's where you put your aircon, your window type aircon. And closing the window, you have your two power supplies. So for two aircon units here, if you want to put them off, and this is hollow board there to put them through. The rest of the wall is concrete. And this is how it looks. You got your kitchen area here where you got plugs down the bottom and also up top. More plugs also here at the side. Looking down in your living room area, you do have plugs here. And it looks like a connection there for a type of internet or home telephone. Taking a look through, this is your bathroom. So you get your sink there and you can put your mirror there. You got a toilet, toilet holder. And then here you have a water supply. So I, I guess this would be for your, if you wanted to put a wash machine here, like an upright wash machine here beside the toilet, you could. And then this is your shower. So that's how it looks. Now let's go take a look at the model unit. So we're here with Mr. Manuel. Manuel, is that right? Have I got it right, sir? Emmanuel. Emmanuel, Mr. Emmanuel. And he's been nice enough to let us come in here and show us around. And we're going to walk on down here, down the corridor, to show you what the showroom looks like and potentially how you could furnish your condominium here at SMDC Tracy Mar Terrace. So let's have a look inside this one. And this is the showroom on the second floor. It's uh, room number 221. It looks quite nice how, they, how they've done it. They put the two top burner there and you got the cupboards under the sink. More cupboards up here and refrigerator. But it looks very, very nice. I like it. You have your dining table, your sofa, and see how they've done this here. They put a partition in here that goes through and this is glass. And then you have two separate air con you, here, window type air con. So you got one there and then you can see one through the, uh, through the glass in the bedroom. Let's go take a look in the bedroom and see how they've done it. But it, it uh, does look very nice. Well designed. Hats off to you, SMDC. This looks fantastic. Put a rug here on the floor. I don't want to walk on the floor on my shoes. But uh, you can see here, it's very nice and very well built. So you got plenty of space in here. It's quite a decent size uh, bedroom to partition it off like that. And this is how they've done it. The bathroom, you see here how they put the shelf and the mirror. And again, this does not come with a condo. This is if you wanted to do it yourself separately. And there's your upright wash machine there with towel rack and uh, shower. So let me know in the comments what you think. Let's go back and uh, ask Manuel some, part, uh, some questions. So Manuel, to my viewers, if they wanted to buy this place, how much would it cost for a one bedroom? It depends on the unit and the floor. There, the range is 3.2 million to 3.6. It depends. So it depends on the floor and is, are they different sizes as well? It's 28.2. 
28.1 square meters. 28.52 square meters. Uh, so 28.52 square meters. And we have an uh, end unit, which is 29.71 square meters. And the end unit is 29 square meters. Yes, that's the end unit. Okay. And the prices start from 2.2 million to 3.2 million. And what's the top price? Is that the top price or is there a bottom price? That is the bottom. That is the bottom, 3.2. And what's the top price? Um, 3.9. 3.9. 3.9 for the larger corner unit. Okay, so what about parking space? Uh, what does it cost to, I mean, are the parking spaces here free or do they have to buy the parking space if they own a car? They have to acquire their property. They have to buy it. Okay, and what's the price for a parking space? The reservation fee. You have to reserve first. Uh huh. It's 10,000 pesos. Reservation fee. Yes, and your monthly due will be 7,000 plus only. For 7,000 plus. It, it was payable for 10 years. That's the. For 10 years at 7,000 pesos a month. Um, which is going to give you um, 84,000 pesos a year. So 840,000 over 10 years. Yes. Okay, so there's, there's your price. Ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna to have to convert that on yourself. I can't do it in my head, but thank you to these uh, two lovely gentlemen for showing us here. We really appreciate it. Now let's go have a look at the amenities. So before we go have a look at the amenities, I've just been pointed out by Emmanuel that they also have a two bedroom um, that is room 222. And what they've done is they've taken two one bedrooms and converted it into two bedrooms. So you have your living room area here. You have one bedroom there. And then you have a sort of partition here and a sofa bed for, for guests if you want to do that or make it into an office. It would be a nice little office, den sort of thing. Checking over this side, do they have the TV over there? And again, the, the dining room table. And this is the uh, larger one that uh, we talk about, talked about. And you can also, in this unit, fit a full-size Samsung wash machine here. Uh, front loader, if that's, if that's what you wanted to do. So let's go back and ask Emmanuel. So Emmanuel, sir. Yes, sir. How much would this one cost here if they want? If my viewers wanted to buy this one, it's dependent again. Every room has different prices. Dependent. Yeah. So what is the price of this one? Specifically, this one. This one. Yes. Uh, we don't actually see the uh, address of the sir. You, I, I realize, but the, the size, is this the same size as yes, the other one? We, oh, it is the same size. They just made it into like a two bedroom unit. Yes. Oh, okay. I saw they cut the bedroom in half. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. All right, so let's go down and take a look at the amenities and see what they have. Here we are uh, back outside and they have uh, two swimming pools here. They have a kid's swimming pool, which is two feet deep. And uh, over this side here, you have a adult swimming pool, which is four feet deep. Moving on along, you also got a children's play area and what's particularly great about this place that i really love is you are right across from the mall now i'm going to show you here up these stairs here and outside this gate this blue building you see right there that is sm mall so I'm not going to get any closer because they're blaring out loud music from there and uh, I'll get uh, demonetized by YouTube for it. And inside the mall, what they have is they have all the uh, great restaurants that you would want. Kenny Rogers, absolutely beautiful chicken. And they have the house that chicken uh, the fried chicken built. They got Max's. They got a pancake house in there. Um, it's called something else, but it is a pancake house sort of style place. And I was just told they're still working on this. There's one building yet to be completed, and that's this building here, which is building B. So building C is now completed. 
am building A and D. And this place here is called Hope Residences. It's located right opposite Tracy Martera Mall in uh, Tracy Martera's Cavite. Thank you for watching. And thank you, Mr. Emmanuel, for allowing us to show this on our YouTube channel. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Nice little place here. I really, really like it. It's got a lot of potential. Again, only one hour from Manila. So it's ideal location uh, if you want somewhere to retire. And there is also a hospital right behind this building here. The other side of the, there's a wall, security wall. But the other side of the security wall is the hospital. So, fantastic. You've also got uh, your drugstore inside the mall. And there's another one out here um, just on the main road going out this way. That side. And the, the drugstore is called Mercury. It's very good. Uh, very affordable, not paying those stateside prices that everybody hates. And uh, if you're diabetic or you got high blood pressure, they've got just about every medication that we got in the West. And uh, it's great. So I'm going to end here. The music's getting pretty loud uh, coming up towards SM Mall to the exit here. And Darlene's going to have a hell of a time editing this video because she's got to cut that out so we, we don't get in trouble by YouTube. We're now inside SM Mall, which is directly across the street from the complex. You can see out the window there past the security point. That's the condominium over there. And in the mall, you have the SM department store just here to my left and the SM appliance store. So you can get all your electrical goods here. If you're into sports, they got a really good sports shop here. You got Toby Sports directly ahead of me. Plenty of clothing stores. And uh, around the corner here, you got a bakery, Bread Talk. So if you like your, your bread freshly baked, there you go. You got to get your fresh breakly bed, just walk across the street and you're there. Coming on over to this side. Over here, we have a music studio. Handbags for the ladies. Kid shop here for toys and stuff. And over to my left, you've got Shakey's Pizza. We all know the Shakey's from back in the States. You got your office supply store here. And uh, you can get your printers, your printer paper if you, for your computer. And then you got SNR, which I did a video on the other day. And they got an SNR restaurant here, which serves terrific pizza, uh, beautiful spaghetti, and lots of good stuff there. For those of you that got a sweet tooth, you even got Dunkin' Donuts. You can get your Dunkin' Donuts here. You got your Mary Grace cakes. Hello, ma'am. How are you? And then you've also got your supermarket. So in here, you got your supermarket, and they sell uh, alcohol over here in the background. And just take a quick peek inside. It is actually quite big. It goes all the way down to the back here. So moving on along. You've also got uh, Zach's Burgers right here. And if you were to come out this exit here, which is the front exit down the escalator, what you'll see is when you come out the entrance on this main road, is they've got trikes. Now, trikes are what they use out in the province for uh, taxis that like we have back in the West. Uh, they'll seat two people on there, um, and you can also sit behind the driver, so you can actually get three people in there. Boy, the music's really blaring, so I'm not going to show you out there, but it is there. Coming on downstairs, you've got McDonald's on the left, 
and over here to the right you've got KFC. So you got the cyber zone back there if you're interested in buying a new cell phone, laptop, computer, they, they got it all there. It's a very busy day here at uh, SM Tracy Martiris and they're playing music. Got to move away from there. Um, and behind me they have even got an Ace Hardware store. What do you think guys and gals? Let me know in the comments what you think below. They've, they've got it all here in this little mall. You even got Mr. Donuts here. Hello everybody. They all like to be uh, on camera here. They, they really like it. So uh, you've got Greenwich Pizza, Jollibee, Cooper, Cooper's Thai Adventure. Cooper's Thai Adventure. Okay. Classic savory. Sorry, he's been asked by some students here. What's the name of the channel? And uh, the house that Max's restaurant, the house that fried chicken built. I said earlier that there is also a uh, pancake house. Whoa. Yes, sir. No, I'm a tourist, sir. I'm going to have to turn this off for now. But uh, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. God bless you wherever you are. And thank you for watching Cooper's Thai Adventures. Take care.